Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to the channel. Today we're going to teach you how to make a jump rope out of just a rope. Like the video, subscribe, and click the bell for notifications. What's going on guys? So today we're going to take a dirty old rope and make that into a lean, mean, fat burning machine. Today with the pandemic, people are buying up anything and everything they can get their hands on, especially fitness equipment. Everything is gone off the shelves. Kettlebells, dumbbells, jump ropes, anything they can get their hands on. Whether they're gonna actually use it or not is a different story. So we're gonna take this rope and make it into a jump rope. All right, so this is how you measure a jump rope. Whether it's a string, a regular jump rope, an adjustable jump rope like this, this is how you do it. So you step on one foot, and wherever the rotation point is, face it out. And the lower you get, the harder it gets. So the lower you get to your armpit, the harder it is, the higher you get to above your shoulders or the middle of your shoulders, the easier it'll be. So this one is, I'd say about average, maybe on the hard side. What we're gonna do with the jump, or what we're gonna do with the rope is, we're gonna take the rotation point and point it out, step on it, now, with a rope, especially a free rope. You only got one time, one chance. Measure twice, cut once. So you wanna take this, angle it outwards, step on one, and I'd say go up to the middle of your shoulder because you can always cut it tight, uh, shorter. Step on it, middle of your shoulder. Let's see. A little bit harder with a with this rope so you want to take it make sure that the rotation point is out so this is going to be the rotation point and you want to be here mark this spot and i'll show you what you do next so you want to take your spot and you want to tape on both sides of it for now we're just going to do a single layer of tape we're not going to tape out the handles or anything like that so here Nice and tight, you don't want it to unwrap. And then you want to tape on the other side as well. You want to tape on the other side because when you go to cut it, you don't want to waste any rope, depending on what rope you're working on. Duct tape, masking tape, whatever you want to use, you can use it. So there we go, we got that. All right, so you got it taped. I'm gonna use my SOS X1 that we de uh, designed and built last year. But you can use, depending on what it is uh, and what kind of rope uh, it, it is, you can use everything from a, a kitchen knife to a pair of scissors. Um, but this rope is a little bit tougher, so we're gonna use a, a sharper knife. Don't cut yourself. So once you guys got a cut, then what you're gonna do is wanna tape from the top. I'd say down about six inches or so, kind of for grips on this. You don't really have to, you can keep it, keep it raw as you want it, but you might want a little bit uh, easier on your hands. Some people worry about that, some don't, so. You can make a jump rope with anything. Just because you ain't got no money. Just because everything sold out. Whatever the reason is, whatever the excuse is, you can do it. For nothing. Tape that you probably already have, a rope that you already have, you can do it. Let's go. All 